Today I'm going to talk about being Christian in investment banking. Uh, and for reference, I'm Christian and I was in investment banking. Uh, in practicality, very, very practically, uh, it's very hard to be Christian in investment banking or at least try to be religious in investment banking because you have no time. Now you're working all the time. You're often, if not always, working weekends. So going to church in itself is practically not impossible. Uh, I've done it. I've seen people do it, but very stressful. There are often times where I would get to church on Sunday morning um, and then have to go right back into the office because I was called to do so. Even in the times that you feel relatively relaxed and you know that there's maybe not much work to do, uh, you are constantly checking your phone during service. You can't really focus on God. You can't focus on whatever activity you're doing at church. Um, I don't even think this is only uh, for Christianity or your religion, but whatever you're doing, uh, very hard to stay in the moment because at any time you can get an email that would cause you to go back to work or get on your laptop to send an email or create a spreadsheet. There were even moments where during service, I would get an email, I stepped to the side, opened my computer, started working while the service was happening. There would be times that I would be in small group and I would have to open my computer and start doing work. Um, I will say, uh, I wanna compliment slash give a shout out to the bank that I was working at. Um, many times I would tell the uh, VP or associate that I was at church and they would be like, hey, you should focus on, uh, on your religious practices. So uh, oftentimes they were understanding that it was an important thing in my life. Uh, but overall, peace of mind as an analyst, as someone that wants to impress, obviously your superior is very hard to balance that. On top of that, investment banking is a very demanding industry uh, of people of high stress, uh, high caliber. Uh, people are constantly uh, saying that they're in a toxic environment. Um, this is due to a wide variety of reasons. Obviously, if you have a uh, group of high achievers, high performing achievers, um, and also an industry that demands not only the best, but the fastest responses, uh, but also quality, you're going to have a long array of people that don't really show their best, uh, at least internally. Obviously, we're client facing, so to the clients, we're nice, holy people. But internally, um, there are often toxic moments, which causes you also to be toxic and not that great of a person, which in practice doesn't really make you a good Christian. So being a Christian, as I'm uh, quite literally because of that environment, uh, makes it very hard. Um, obviously, these are more legalistic things, um, and this is a much bigger conversation, but because you're stressed all the time and you have limited time, the way that you relieve the stress is you have to go to clubs or bars or parties, um, all of which I, I would say uh, in most religions, uh, but also in Christianity, uh, God wouldn't necessarily enjoy uh, you going to said club, said bar, and getting super drunk and being out of control to relieve stress. Uh, I also think that even at the office, uh, not that I think cussing is a really bad sin, but you are saying provocative things which are probably not praising or encouraging, um, at least at surface level. Uh, you get to, or you are almost forced to say certain things that you might not actually mean or uh, be super stressed out and lash out on people, uh, lash out against yourself, uh, have very negative thoughts, all of which I think don't really contribute well to you uh, being a Christian. On that note, I think it does cause you to pray a lot. <laughs> I think during banking, I probably prayed uh, more than ever in my life. Uh, it just almost makes you... Uh, so, turn to God, seek God because you're under so much stress and there's nothing else. There's no one else uh, to really turn to. I remember every morning as I'm work, walking to work, um, I'm not sure how genuine these prayers were. It might have just been a routine, but I kept telling uh, God, yo, like I really don't want to do this. I hate my life right now. I really need you, uh, which you could say God used to get closer to him. Um, prayer is the only thing that you kind of can do spontaneously without planning for it. And you could do a 15 second prayer and you know, if someone emails you, the, we, that email can wait 15 seconds. So I, I think it did cause me to pray a lot. It also does put you in a really high stress uh, under the microscope environment where I think it really does test your uh, true faith in the sense that if you're in a good environment, good uh, low stress environment, it's easier to be Christian. I don't think your real self comes out. But if you're in this kind of environment, it does cause you to really be put to the test um, and essentially uh, true, show your true self and see if your faith is real or if it's more fabricated and under wraps only in ideal conditions or scenarios. I do want to take this time and say, specifically for my bank, I, I worked in Chicago 
there was a heavy Catholic influence in the bank. Not that it was ever a uh, uh, barrier to entry. Uh, there was no <laughs> oppression because I was Christian and they were Catholic. But uh, it was a very Catholic, heavy, heavy environment. Uh, most of the people that I was working under, uh, I think, were Catholic. A lot of my analyst class was Catholic. I don't think it was better or worse. Uh, I am relatively loose in the definition. I think Catholics are uh, probably going to heaven. I'm not as sound in my uh, theology on that. But, uh, yeah, if anything, those are the guys that I talked to my faith about. There wasn't any official Christian or Catholic club within the uh, company. Or if there was, I just didn't know about it. But... There would be hallway, water cooler conversations about faith, uh, what we're doing this weekend about church. Um, I specifically talked to a couple of analysts about my faith um, and, and one or two associates and a couple uh, managing partners um, about it. Uh, I think that kind of helped. There was some kind of mentorship there about navigating investment banking as a Christian. Uh, lastly, I think any industry, uh, especially nowadays, I would argue it's it's – difficult to be a Christian. You could use it as an excuse and say XYZ industry causes me to be less of a Christian because it's demanding or it's stressful or the people there aren't aligned in my worldviews. The excuse list can go on forever. This is the same with school, same with any job, any industry. I'm sure some industries, it's just harder than others because of the nature of that industry, uh, how much it becomes a lifestyle versus other jobs where it's just a nine to five and you can allocate the Christian time elsewhere. But if anything, I think in the jobs that are truly a lifestyle, um, like entertainment, like banking, uh, like Web3, things that are much more demanding in nature, I think those industries really do test uh, whether or not you being a Christian is a lifestyle. Because if you have to compartmentalize and can only do it outside of work hours, I wonder if that really means you are uh, Christian. I, I think it's really important to be uniformly Christian. You're not putting on a Christian hat only on Sundays or for Friday worship. You need to be Christian uh, throughout. And I think uh, I did a very poor job when I was in investment banking. I, I did go to church more out of stress relief and for the community, but I don't think my faith was really uh, 100% there. I would not say that I was practicing my faith at work. I did not take opportunities to evangelize. Uh, and these are relatively high bars. I think I wouldn't uh, say that if you don't do these things, you aren't Christian. But uh, in conclusion, it, it's truly important to be uniformly Christian. And I I think uh, the, the things I mentioned are specific to investment banking, but but overall, it's quite important to not be, uh, or, or, or be uh, industry agnostic. <laughs> it's funny that I use the word agnostic here, but it's, it's important to be industry agnostic and, and recognize that any industry you can use as an excuse and say, it's hard to be Christian here. Um, in fact, the industries that are hard to be Christian in really does test you and I think helps you grow into becoming uh, a better Christian yourself. Um, at the end of the day, Christianity is about your relationship with Jesus Christ. Uh, you accept him as your Lord and Savior um, and believing that he sacrificed uh, for you. Uh, I, this is a great time to actually just reflect on my career, uh, now having been three and a half years out of school, um, just to think about what it means to be a Christian in blank. Um, I hope to reflect more and come back with other similar videos. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I've reflected in investment banking potentially because my views are down and I need to kick them back up as usual. Maybe this video won't work. Um, as always, I, I thank you for watching. If you have any questions, uh, if you're a investment banker now or considering investment banking and you're a Christian or you're not Christian, you want to become Christian, let me know in the questions below. My DMs are always open on my Twitter. Um, as always, I'll see you guys next time. Let's go.